Are your kitchen and bathroom way overdue for a remodel? Well, I got the guy for you. Call John Sellers at First Response Contracting, 484-256-7136. Both residential and commercial services, and he's licensed and insured. Call him at 484-256-7136, First Response Contracting. Hello, this is Brad Wiseman. You'll listen to Real Estate and You. We are back in the saddle. That sounds kind of weird. We are back in the saddle. It's me and Justin. Justin is now formally known as the mortgage company, and it's now called Annie Mac. So we'll go through that whole discussion. But uh, yeah, I got Justin Perella here. We're going to talk about mortgages, talk about interest rates, talk about FHA, VA, conventional, whatever you want to talk about, we can talk about when it comes to mortgages, of course. So uh, without any delay... Justin, what's going on, man? Hello, hello. What's up, Brad? I'm doing great. And you? I'm well. Yeah, doing well. good, good. Nice out, finally. Yeah, exactly. And you know, it's nice because uh, we're able to go out now again. You know, we were out not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago. You and I had a little time with our wives and we went out uh, for a little party, if you want to call it that. It was awesome, yeah. We had a great time. It was a good Got time. Got a van to take us there. Had a great time. Yeah, that was really fun. Yeah, yeah, cool. Was. And everybody was set, you know, we, we everybody was safe. safe. We were safe, distanced. safe and, and safe and cool. All right. So let's jump right into it. Let's just talk about the name change right off yeah. the bat. Because you used to be the mortgage company, correct? correct? Yeah. So first of all, let me wish a happy belated birthday to my partner at uh Annie Mac, Mike Bauer. He uh just celebrated a big birthday. And actually Mike was the one who actually started the mortgage company in Allentown, but the mortgage company has always rolled up to our, our parent company, Annie Mac. So mm-hmm. when we moved offices over uh, from Allentown, we still have an office in Allentown and opened our Y missing office. We used the mortgage company and it got a little confusing here with who the mortgage company, well, what company? So we just decided to go back and brand ourselves as Annie Mac, but nothing's changed other yeah. than my email. The, the guidelines and everything are still the same under Annie Mac. Still the same great service. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's fun though, because it, it does, believe it or not, as you can imagine for my realtor partners, it opens up so much more marketing because we only had a portion of it because we had to brand it as the mortgage company. Right, so now right. we have all these programs and uh, marketing for everything you could ever want. <clears throat> That's correct. So, so we, we talked about uh, having you back on and we talked about what we we're going to talk about. And one of the things is obviously interest rates have gone up a little bit. Yeah, you know, everybody's running for the hills, Brad. It's, it's incredible. Up an of a point. <laughs> I mean, really? I mean, seriously, when you think about it, you know what they were at, what 2.75 yeah. and now they're at what? Well, okay. So 30 year fixed 2.75 was an average rate, you know, back in October, November, December. Now we're looking at three and an eighth. So 3.125, 3.25 in some cases, yeah, but nothing crazy. No, it's no. not going to make or break your, your home purchase. Yeah. So, and, and I think what it is, is we've become so spoiled as a real estate industry, as buyers and sellers we've become so spoiled because we actually think that three percent is normal think about the millennials oh yeah that's they all they know, know. <laughs> they they know under four basically i think I, right i, I mean I tell them to ask their parents or even better yet i mean 14 15 percent. yeah i mean imagine? i never saw that no, I, I, I didn't this either. is 28 years here in the business and yeah. i the the most i think i ever yeah, saw was was nine percent nine yeah i think nine percent was pretty much the highest is that the average then or was that and no that was like a peak and and i think it hit like nine and I, i'm gonna say that was right when i first started in 92 93 it was in that range and then it was a and then what be what for me in my experience was a good rate. It's kind of funny. A good rate for me for a large part of my career was six percent. Yeah, I can see five, I mean, five and six percent. That was I mean when it dropped below six percent, whoa, it was like you know people were going nuts. That's where the yeah right. I got my now first we go up over three and they're going to go nuts. Yeah, <laughs> but again they're just what they're accustomed to, and also people don't realize that the rates change every day. So yeah. it could be, well, it wouldn't be back to 2.75 tomorrow, depending, no matter what the bond market does. But 
it's it's something that's still a moving target. Always. Well, let's go back to that. Everybody thinks that when the Fed lowers the rate that no. the interest rates are going down. No. Yeah, that, that, has- that is such a misconception. Yes. because And even the media will say that, oh, well, the Fed lowered, and, and I think the Fed's down to pretty much zero anyway. But Correct. when the Fed lowers the rates, that is for short-term lending. Correct. That, right? And that has nothing to do. There, there's actually a lot that goes into the, right. to the mortgage rates, but mostly it's on the uh, 10-year treasury. Right. So on the 10 year treasury, if that goes down, rates go up. Is that right? Isn't it opposite? It's opposite, opposite. right? Yeah. That's what I thought. See, I learned something in 28 years. (laughs) Holy crap. Um, You can teach an old dog new tricks. So go ahead. Tell me more about what's, what's going on. Let's talk about the FHA. Yeah. So there actually with, um, with us starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel with COVID, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Um, you're starting to see a little bit of, of looser guidelines on programs like FHA and conventional, but FHA just launched um, some new guidelines, and it's it's mostly around the forbearance. So if you're not familiar with what the forbearance is, it's when it first came out, right when COVID was at its peak, or actually early on in, in COVID it came out, <clears throat> it gave you the ability to – two things. It gave you the, the ability to stop your mortgages and put the, the payments at the end – or you could accumulate them and pay them off in three to four or five months whenever you need it, which was pretty ridiculous. And Okay, so when you say they're going to do that, yeah. do you have to sign up for that? You can't just oh, stop yeah. paying, right? <laughs> right yeah. yeah that, and that's another misconception. Uh, you can't just stop paying and go, oh, well, that forbearance thing. Yeah, I'm going to take advantage of that. Well, and you can't expect that because you did that, that you can just turn that switch back on. So at, when it first came out, and you did that, the communication was horrible yeah, around yeah. it because every bank uh, was saying, oh, don't worry about it. Just, just, just go do, under forbearance. Just I it. almost did it. Just I'm thinking, you know. Yeah, why I'm not? Like, right? I, I don't pay. want to pay my mortgage. What the <laughs> hell? Yeah. So I, I called up and then because I'm in the industry, I did more research. And it was at first, it was if you do a forbearance on your loan, you can't buy another property for 12 months. You have to make 12 months of payments wow. before you're out of it. So that obviously was taken back. It was six months and now it's three. So right. you got to make three payments and you got to catch up to date. You don't need the, you know, I was just looking at the, what you need as far as conditions and you just need a letter stating that you've been back. Uh, all the lenders would be familiar with the letter that you need to get that just shows you've been basically says that you're, you're, caught up. you're back in, you're caught yeah. up again. Correct. Yeah. And I think we ran into that. I know we ran into that situation where, uh, there was, um, uh, somebody that stopped paying. You know what? We still have them. Yeah, they're still in our pipeline. Yes, you're right because they're on their second or third month. So excellent. Yeah, and that's we- am- it's amazing, right? And that's the thing I think it's that's a little scary is that you definitely if you're going to stop paying something, make sure you know what you're doing and what you're getting into when well, you stop paying. Your mortgage. Yeah, I mean you're not going to get another mortgage if you didn't pay the last one. They say when I first got into the business, they said, and I've been in finances for almost twenty years, but mortgages for four, and they said, if you pay any bill, <laughs> pay your mortgage. Pay your mortgage. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> and, and if you don't pay that, pay your car payment because you're going to be living there. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Or an RV. <laughs> an RV. Yeah. Buy an RV and you're good there. So FHA. So they're loosening up a little bit, a little bit. which is good. That's yep. good to hear. Yep. Um, what about credit scores? How's, how's that? Is that still, we're still looking at the 620s or six? 620 we say is going to get you pretty much. That's FHA though. You're not Correct. getting conventional. Well, it, no, well, six twenty starts you at convention. Oh, okay. Six forty is where you're going to start to see the uh, the benefits of the conventional loan with a little bit lower rates. But anything in the sixes is going to get hit with a little bit of a higher rate, right? You, regardless, you, you, yeah, you're going to pay a premium for yep. the fact that you're a little higher risk. So we've done, and again, my phone rings off the hook because a lot of people know I fight for my clients, even if they're five eighty mm-hmm. to six hundred. So I do fight, you know. On behalf of the clients, if they, you know, had a couple mishaps, but they're they're showing a trend of getting their credit back together, or we just need to clean up a couple things on their credit to get them there. But the most important thing is, even though we can catch you up on your credit score, the guidelines and the rates are extremely tough to qualify. You can right. qualify, but if you've got a f- sub 620, you better be good at getting paperwork, getting documents gotcha. together, and have about a point and a half to pay for your rate. Gotcha. Oh, so you so you're saying it's going to cost you more money too uh, out of your pocket. Yeah, so and that And with seller assist not happening too much, that gets to be a little so, that's tougher. 
Yeah, so a little tougher. And you can't wrap that back into the mortgage either. That's cash you need. You, you that's closing costs that's in there. So so if I'm looking at a hundred hundred and fifty thousand dollar loan, I better be looking at another fifteen hundred bucks or more. Or, one at least one. At, I've been seeing. So again, if if rates are at three and a quarter, let's just say you're sub six twenty, you're going to be at f- close to four percent and have to pay between one and one and a half in points. Wow, I know. Wow, so it's very credit driven. Yeah. Now, would you be better off going FHA that then, or is that with yeah. FHA? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because here's the thing, and especially if you're only putting a certain percent down. So you come to me and you have three and a half percent. That's all you got. Well, first time home buyers can get into conventional if they're if they qualify for the program with three percent down. But if they don't, it's five percent. So if you're putting five percent down and you're six twenty let's say you're six thirty, mm-hmm. your rate's still gonna be high. It might not be four, but it's gonna be high. But the biggest thing is your mortgage insurance. Ah, uh, FH- right. FH- because you're higher risk. Darn right. So you're FHA higher risk. Is yeah. a fixed mortgage percentage yep. where conventional is all based on your credit score and yep. down payment. Well, and the private mortgage ins- insurance company is the one that's really backing the, that that difference in in uh, down payment. Correct. And, and and if you're high risk, they're sitting there going, eh, "You're going to pay." Yeah. You know, you got to pay because that's where we ran into trouble in 2007. The yeah. PMI companies really ran into were, trouble. Were they expensive? And, really? Oh, and it, well, and they just those are the ones that got hit. So beyond that, oh, anything right. anything right. new with conventional? Like anything different there? Everything's pretty much the same, yeah, right? Pretty much the same. Uh, we have an. Oh, I'll tell you what, we are seeing a lot. Um, not a lot, but we're seeing uh, appraisal waivers. Still seeing that. Still seeing them. So on houses. Now, now, now this would make sense for a house that's a cookie cutter mm-hmm. that is in, say, Werner Farm. Like my, like, I don't Green call Valley. my house cookie cutter, but Green Valley, yeah. and, and I don't want to call those cookie cutter either. But they're they're a they lot easier. They're a lot easier to say. Okay, this house is pretty much like this house. Mm-hmm. So we know that appraise. So we're going to go with with this. Um, and and that. Um, twenty percent down still though is is yeah. winning is winning those. That's what's get, That's what it is. And then basically, I get that. So it's yeah. less risk for the bank because now you're you're coming with twenty percent down. So the bank goes, hey, even if we get this off by five percent, we're still in good shape. Right. Yeah, I and got that's, it. And with the house prices increasing so much, they know. I and I assume they know they're going to be covered. You know, yeah. As long as right. Twenty percent. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. So what else, what else we got going on? Anything else you want to talk about? Um, we, we're at 12 minutes already. So, you know, we don't, we have a couple, we have like a minute or so left. Um, no, just, uh, refis. If you're looking at refis, you're still, you know, I'd say if you're at the four and a half, it's still worth it. Four and a quarter, maybe. If so if their current credits, rate is at correct, sorry. four and a half, four and a quarter, mm-hmm. you're saying it still makes sense to refinance. Yeah. But okay. I'm hoping, and we're hoping that with the nice weather, You'll call Brad, list your house, yeah. the tulips are coming out, you know, so <laughs> a lot, I think a lot uh, of people were refinancing instead of listing over COVID. And so I, I'm hoping that there's a lot more inventory because guess what? If you're looking to sell, there's a lot of buyers. Oh, there's a ton of buyers. You know, it's, it, and you know, we can talk about inventory. We talk about that all the time, but inventory yeah. is definitely the one thing that is happening in our industry that's slowing, that's basically making it tough. Yeah. I mean, there's probably 20 buyers for every house. That's insane. It, it really is. There's 20 to 25 buyers that are looking at every house that goes on the market that I, that I list. And that to me means that when there's somebody buys it, there's still 20 people still looking for a house. So yeah. we are way under We're at I looked at the numbers uh, just yesterday. We're at around three, I think it was 334 was the amount of homes on the market. County and wide. that is that's countywide. That's countywide. That's every price range, every type. And uh, that's just incredible. I mean, I've never seen anything like well, that. What's the average? And the average, I did look at like a long term average. You you probably should be around 25, 2,000 to 2,500 homes on the Holy. market at any given time. That and that is, and that is like a more of a normal market, you know, um, and that's what we used to have. And the biggest part of that, once again, is we just don't have enough new construction to replace the inventory that we are using. And also, it's not even that we're, we're you know, we're having children and we've been for a long time. And <laughs> unless we stop having children, you know, the population is growing. Right. You know, um, so we're not replenishing that. So there's definitely and it's funny, I've been saying that real estate. I said this last year. I remember saying it to my partners and maybe to you, I said, real estate is going to become a privilege and a premium. 
Wow. A major, major premium. It used to be the American dream. It's going to be the American privilege or the American, uh, you know, it, it's fantasy. Wow. <laughs> because it's, it's, it's really, really becoming hard to find a home. So is it just land? I mean, like Tony Soprano said, by land. It, 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 you know, you're, yeah, exactly. That, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's land. It's also what happened is now we're so far behind the eight ball um, because we didn't build for six years, seven years. Now, I'm not saying nobody's building, but in this county, when I was in new construction and doing a lot, selling a lot of new homes, we were we were building probably around 1,100 to 1,200 homes a year. Holy. That's between Greth, Farino, Grande, Burke's Homes, all the different big builders in the area. And That's that lot. has stopped since 2007. We went down to like 200 a year. And now it's probably even less than that. I think at one point it was less than that. But what I'm saying is that you can never get that back. Right. Oh, right, right, right. You'll never, you right. can't you make up time. over that time. You still had kids. Exactly. Still up. Exactly. Yeah. It's just like you can never catch up on sleep. Once you've lost that time, it's gone. <laughs> they always say that. Um, but so, yeah, so that's what's going on. So inventory is an issue. Yeah. Mortgages, and this is what's amazing. Mortgages are amazing. You guys are still great rates. Everything's going well. You can get a mortgage. You don't need 20% down, three and a half or five, depending on what you're doing. Keep your credit scores good. The other thing is, is, you know, the, the market is good. Job market is good. I mean, yeah. I see hiring signs everywhere. So things are good there. It's just an inventory issue. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's going to be, I think it's going to be something we're dealing with for a while. Now, that doesn't mean don't put your house in the market. That doesn't mean don't go looking for a house. If you want a house, you'll find a house. Just got to have patience. Yeah. That's what it's all about. It's about patience yeah. right now. Yeah. yeah. So anything else you want to say to, before we finish up? No, I just appreciate coming on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. But uh, And I think what we're going to do is have you come back at least once a month and yeah. just kind of touch base on what's going on in the market. Because the mortgages are changing. Things are always changing. Yeah. There's always new programs, always something different going on. So My info's on... Uh the yeah, if you need give your stuff. information again. Go ahead. Yeah, it's uh, my cell phone, 484-955-7815. And my email is jperella, that's P-E-R-E-L-L-A, at annie-mac.com. That's M-A-C.com. Thanks, Brad. You're very welcome. Thank you. Well, there you go. Justin Perella back on the show. That was fun. That was a good time. Yeah, we, good. we, uh, we had a good time. Yeah. And... Um, so just listen back. We're going to be uh, bringing some other guests in here. I have a guest that's coming in from outside the area, uh, probably be next week or over the next 10 days, something like that. And it's always going to be interesting information about real estate. Uh, but thanks for listening. Talk to you soon. Are your kitchen and bathroom remodels a little overdue? Well, now's your chance to call First Response Contracting. John Sellers will take care of you. 484-256-7136. They do residential and commercial, and they're licensed and insured. Give them a call at 484-256-7136.